constant kettlebell work for 30 minutes. You can stop at any time. Stop your device, go back into it. We're building on some endurance with our cardio right now. Like I always say, I do low weight, higher reps with kettlebell. Switch direction with your arms. Pull your abs in. Alternating your arm drops as the kettlebell comes down. Both hands here. 
here. Left arm comes down. Both hands here. Right arm, use it. Yeah, so it's alternate. Breathe. Stay with this for 30 minutes. Challenge yourself today. Two more rounds. That's one. And that's two. Now we go straight out. Stay there and drop. Straight out, drop. Drop. Together, drop. Together, drop. Breathe. Rest in those hips out. Six more. One. Six, feet together. You're gonna hold the kettlebell here, try not to hit your thrusting hips out. Thrust. Thrust. Breathe. It's good for tight hips. Five more. One. Two. Three. Four. And Five, switch. Four more. Last one. Okay, triceps. Knees up for 20. Three. Keep those elbows tight by your side. Halfway, 10 more, breathe. Eighteen, 19, and 20. Now wide legs. You're gonna flip it. You're gonna you're gonna flip it with your wrist. You're gonna do a little squat and come up. So it's flip, squat, up. So you're actually squatting twice. Squat, up, squat, flip, squat, up. So when you squat for the second time, it's when the kettlebell raises up. Breathe. Chest up, man. Flat back. Three more. That's one. Focus on your breath. Two, tummy is engaged. And three, other side. Flip it. Squat. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Very important. After this one, three more. Stay with it. Work on your that is one and two and three. Now flip it upside down. We're gonna do some squats with straight up for back. Ready? Go try to go deep as you can in your squat. Next, I'd like a pause right here. Pause, straight up. Pause. Don't round your back. Chest is up. Weight in your heels. We're going to do 15. That was five. Pause. Eight. Pause. Ten. Five more. Stay with it. Last one. Beautiful. We're gonna do some biceps. So I want you to get in lunge. Right leg's gonna be forward. You're gonna have momentum with the kettlebell. You're gonna swing it back. You're gonna come up when the kettlebell raises up. Swing straight up. 
swing. Straight up, breathe through it. Gauge in that core. Wish I could see everybody's form, please. Watch your form. One more after this. And switch sides. Remember, we'll start at lunge. Kettlebell raises up, body raises up. Try not to let the kettlebell hit you in the head. So if it's too heavy, because obviously you're working with one arm, one hand is holding it. You might have to drop your weight. That's okay. Two more. Tummy is engaged. One. And two. Okay, wide legs. We're actually going to say wide legs, wide feet. One arm shoulder presses 415. Get in your top like we do in bar. Hip bones pop out. Tailbone gets heavy. Six. Ten. Five more push. One. Two. Three, four, and switch. Stay in your wide leg squat. 15 more. This is 10. Stay with it. One, two, three, four, and Five, okay. Now, we're gonna do a shoulder lift, but I do want a balance move with this. So what you're gonna do, side lunge, right leg out. Side lunge, okay, shoulder lift. Side lunge, kettlebell goes down, shoulder lift. Get some balance going on. Slow it up, so I want you to focus on your balance here. Give yourself at least a one, two, hold right here. This is five, we're gonna do 10. Try not to round the back when you're right here. Keep that back flat. That's seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. I also wanna talk about the knee. Don't tweak it this way when it's straight out. That's 10, switch sides. Ready, left leg out, side lunge. Listen to my breath, focusing on my breath. That's four, five, six. See, this side isn't as good. My balance, gotta work on it. Seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Okay, balance move. You're gonna flip it on your forearm. You're gonna step back with your right foot. You're gonna lunge back. Right leg is gonna go out without putting the foot down. So. I'm going to show you side version first and I'll face forward. So watch, right foot, lunge, lift, pause, lunge, lift, pause. That's the idea. We're going to do 12 on each side. Think of leg out, arm up. Ready? Go. Focal point, balance, core is engaged. Listen to your body. That's six. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, switch sides, here we go. Same thing, I'm gonna show you this side again, just to make sure everyone's doing it right. Step back with left foot now, 
raise it up. That's the idea. Okay, 12 more. Ready? Go. Focus. I'm looking right at the camera that's filming me right now. It's great focal point. Breathing out when my leg and body comes up. That's three. Core is engaged. Six, I'm halfway. Seven. Eight. Nine. Almost there, stay with it, don't give up. 10. 11. And 12. Okay, we're gonna do some side bends. If you have shoulder issues, you don't have to have the kettlebell here. Modification is here. We're gonna do 10 on each side. I'm gonna try to my fingers to my foot, the mat, whatever it looks like. I'm gonna ease into it. All right, 10 of them, ready, go. If you want to keep, like right now, I'm putting a slight bend into my left knee so I can get down deeper. This is this slight bend. Four. Five. Breathe. Six. Core is engaged. Seven. Eight. Nine. And we're gonna switch sides here. Good work, same thing. Like I said, you always find a side of your body that's more flexible, 10 more. Right there, my left, that icky part on my, like I said, that area of the skin, 
It totally gets you deep and stretches it, tones it. That's three, we're gonna do 15. Follow my pace, four. Breathing, five, engaging in your core. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, five more, don't get lazy, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so right here, that's where I felt it. So important. Now I'm gonna actually face this way so you can see my form. Right hand's gonna go through the kettlebell. 15 more. Hold it. Eight more minutes of the workout. Okay, we gotta get it really strong. Stay focused. Remember, dropping the hips. Here we go, wide arms. 15 more, go. My core is very engaged. There's five. Eight. Ten. Five more. I can do this. I'm getting tired, but I'm ta talking to myself. I can do this. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Mind over matter. And fifteen. Nice. Roll on your backs. With your kettlebell. Now, two and one here. We're going to work at four with a chest press. Watch your back. We should push down into the mat. One arm shoulder press. Ball up your legs. Spine into the mat. So you're going to go out for 10. Pause when the legs go out for two. Two, two. Three, two. Engage in that four. Four, two. Five, two. Legs out, arm up. Six, two. Seven, two. Engaging in my core. Spine is in, pushed out of the mat. Eight, two. Nine, two. And ten, two. Switch sides. Same thing, I got the idea. Ready, go. One, one. Two, two. Three, two. Four, two. Five, two. Pushing the spine into the mat. Six, two. Seven, two. Eight, two, nine, two, ten, two. Straddle legs, kettlebell above your head. Now, remember spine. If you're, if you're feeling your lower back, don't go as down as deep with your legs. You can stop like here and I'll show you what I need. So, you're here. I'm going to do a hips up. You don't have to. So, if your back's starting to irritate, you stop right there and go back up. We're going to do 12 of these. Pause. Try not to put the feet down. Two. Ten more. Control. Three. Focus on your breathing. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine and ten. Okay. And I found this one. You want your arm to be straight. The working arm, which is right on the up. So watch. Kettlebell is up. Keeping my legs onto the mat. This arm, I always envision someone over here trying to help me up. Just a mental thing. So watch. Hold me up. Hold me up. Help me up. Even though I can do it on my own. It's a visual. There's two. We're going to do eight. Slow. Three. Four. If you 
do it slow, you can feel all the core. Work in five. And six. Two more. We're only doing eight. I'm being nice today. Seven. I only have half hour. And eight. I'm going to switch sides. You can see. Same thing. If you don't have a kettlebell, I forgot to say this, you can always use a dumbbell. You might not be able to do all the exercises, but you'll be able to do quite a few. So remember, we're doing eight, two. Three. Nice work, Miss Madeline. Four. You know what? I apologize if my count gets off. I get very focused. And so I could be repeating <laughs> the same number, and I'm not even aware of it. This is seven. And this is eight. Okay, now. Kind of an advanced move, but I wanted to finish on this one. So, okay, I gotta think. Biggest thing is keeping, getting your heel as close to your bum. We're doing a kettlebell roll up. If you can't and you want your feet together, I haven't done these in a while, so we're gonna see here. So watch. Okay, momentum. Think of momentum. And you raise up. See what I did? Now, you have to have your feet. I'm gonna face the camera actually. So you can also start standing up. It's all about momentum. Okay, ready, go. So watch, hips up, feet together, raise it up. Nice, Marilyn, I can see her in the corner of my eyes. My 13 year old doing it. Breathe. This is five. We're gonna do 10. Six. Good flexibility. Seven. Eight. Feeling the glutes. Nine. And 10. Okay. Got one more minute. Froggy squats. Great workout. Great exercise on this. Hold on. I always like to hold on to resistance, which obviously is doing my kettlebell. So, stay in a deep, deep squat. Weight has to be in your heels. We got knees. We got one minute left. Weight has to be in your heels. So, it's just this. Little tiny squat. Palm froggy squats. Think of a froggy's legs. Weight is back in your heels. You're isolating your quads. Don't round your back. Flat back. You can do them as slow or as fast as you want. I like them slow. Really feeling the burn. A lot of people I understand struggle with, with tight knees or they're, you know, they're on the verge of having to get a knee replacement. On this move, if you can't do this, stand up and just do high knees. And I'll show you what that means. Okay, 15 seconds. Weight back in your heels, breathe. Focus on the muscle groups that you are working on. Okay, what I mean by high knees is just you can hold your kettlebell and just do this. I want you to keep the momentum of the workout going so you build that endurance. Anyway, that was 30 minutes of, of kettlebell work. There's so many different exercises that you can do. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got 120 eight subscribers now and it's uh it's about making a difference in people's lives that's that was for me at least that's what one of my visions is for myself and making a difference in our world stay strong self-care any questions reach out to me message me on my website facebook i have an instagram um and my, my website's really kind of cool because you can amy's beach fitness and um there it's set up very user user friendly there's a youtube um icon, you click on it, this, that, and the other. Some great information. Um, keep the bodies moving. 
and I uh, and then you'll connect you right to my video blog. And thank you, Kim Beck, Carolyn Newman, Gretchen, and even if I know there's a couple people that messaged me earlier that had some things going, they're gonna catch it later. Any um any feedback, even if it's negative, which I hope it's not negative, is appreciated. You know, so thank you all. Have a good day. Bye.